Hey guys, Micah here with Tactic California. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today we are finally covering all the parts in the 50 Shades of FDE build. You guys have been asking for this video. I was shocked at how many people wanted to know, so we're doing it. All the stuff that's in that FTE build, we're gonna cover it real quick, but right before we do, I wanna mention that Tactic California t-shirts are now available. So, here they are, they're pretty awesome. Everything that's in the Tactic California t-shirt is US made, and the company that's handling your shirts for us is a California company. So when you buy a Tactic California t-shirt, you're gonna head on over to eqfreedom.com. That's the website where these t-shirts are available. And what's awesome is you're not only supporting my channel by getting a t-shirt and having an awesome shirt, if I must say so myself, but also helping out another California-based company that utilizes US products. This is a win-win. You're helping two companies out. You're getting a great shirt. Highly recommend you do it. Head on over to EQ Apparel's website, which is eqfreedom.com. I'll leave a link directly to the t-shirts in the description box below. Now that we got that out of the way, Back to the FDE build. The goal of this rifle was simple. Get as many shades of FDE on there as you possibly can. So that's what we did. Starting with the receiver set. This is an Aero Precision M4E1 receiver set. These were both Cerakoted by Aero Precision in Magpul FDE. It's a standard FDE and it was a great base for the rest of the rifle. The stock is a B5 Systems Sot Mod Bravo. It's the their thinner cheek weld version in Coyote Brown. So this is not an FDE color. Again, I was going for all these earth tones, so that was a really cool uh, kind of different tone I was able to get a hold of. The buffer tube has been Cerakoted FDE by VC Defense. Uh, they do good work over there. I'm kind of biased, I work there. But still, do really good work. Highly recommend them if you want to get stuff coated. Uh, they coated that FDE for me and I really liked it. VC Defense KG Gun Coated, this Calcinut M Magpul ASAP QD Sling Plate. Uh, worked really well, it's a great shade. It's a little bit lighter than other burnt bronzes so it added another flavor to the build. The grip is a BCM grip. It's in their FDE which is a much lighter tan as you're noticing. Uh, Nothing fancy about it, it's not their modular one, it's just the standard one. I really, really like it, I like the grip angle, I like how high my hand gets in there, uh, the beaver tail fits well, everything about this grip is just awesome. The trigger is a three and a half pound flat-faced CMC trigger. I know they come in FDE, I wasn't able to get one, uh, but rest assured, I may go out and hunt one down because we're trying to get as much FDE on this bad boy as we can. KNS anti-rotation links, these are the uh, Gen 2s, the dog bone kind, uh, those are also in FDE. The selector switch is a Radian in brown. They call it like a, a brown, it's basically a burnt bronze, uh, but it's really cool because it's kind of a different shade of brown as well, so I really like that. Got an Odin Works uh, extended magazine release here, so this, this kind of comes back a little bit and gives you a little more surface to work with, also gives you some more FDE on there. VC Defense also Cerakoted this Magpul bad lever for me. Again, they can do that for you. Uh, that's FDE, so it just, again, another splash of FDE on that rifle. The upper receiver, we've put a Strike Industries uh, ultimate dust cover on there. Really like those. Uh, it's in FDE and hiding underneath that is an FDE BCM bolt carrier group. It's pretty cool. It's an ion bond finish in flat dark earth uh, from BCM. So you get a BCM bolt carrier and FDE. I don't think it could have gotten any better for that. The charging handle is a Geisley DDC. So it's their desert color. Uh, really cool because Geisley has a lot of shades of that DDC color. So just cause you get something in DDC and another thing in DDC, doesn't mean they're gonna match, which I actually really liked for this build uh, because I have more than one Geisley product on here and they don't really match, so it's more shades of brown. The sights on this rifle are the Troy Industries sights. Uh, this is the HK style front. I'm really fond of that with the uh, rear aperture lining up that kind of circular front hood. Uh, it just makes shooting with the irons easier. I've had a lot of fun shooting the irons on this, so that's what's on there. And we have an EOTech EXPS 3-0 in FDE and a G33 magnifier behind it in FDE. Now the mount on a G33 is black normally. So you guessed it, I had VC Defense Cerakote the uh, mount there FDE. So that makes it uh, just have more tan, less black all around is what I was going for. The barrel underneath the handguard is a Roscoe manufacturing barrel. It's a 14 and a half chrome lined barrel, 
really, really cool. They don't make the chrome line ones anymore, to my understanding, but they still have really good barrels, and I really like Roscoe, especially for the price point. Really can't beat them. And then pin and welded underneath that is the Surefire MB556 muzzle brake. Uh, probably one of the best brakes on the market, uh, in my opinion. And then we've got the Surefire Warden over the top of this uh, to add another splash of FTE, of course. The rail is a Geisley Mark 8 13-inch M-Lock rail. Really, really like these. These are kind of the bigger profile. I really like that uh, about this. I didn't think I was going to, but I really ended up falling in love with the kind of bigger, chunkier feel. It reminds me of my quad rail rifles uh, while being M-Lock, which is awesome. The hand stop here is a BCM CAG or kinesthetic angled grip. Try saying that five times fast, so they call it the CAG. Uh, essentially, they're a hand stop, and it's kind of angled at the bottom here to really give you a good purchase and help you pull the rifle into your shoulder and keep it tucked into the shoulder. So I really, really like that. The light on this rifle is the Streamlight HLX. It's a thousand lumens, 27,600 candela. That's a lot of light to put down range. And that is sitting uh, on the gun with an FDE rail. I didn't compromise. I made sure I had an FDE rail to put that on there. Didn't want any more black than I had to. And then the mount that's holding the pressure switch for the light is a Cloud Defensive Mark II. It's the LCS Mark II, and it's been coated in burnt bronze. I got that combo from Optics Planet. Highly recommend you guys do that. If you use the code TCA5, when you check out, you'll save 5%. So just giving you that heads up, you can get this light and pressure switch and Cloud Defensive mount combo over there at OpticsPlanet.com. And this is a Magpul Coyote. P mag, uh, it's a 1030, obviously holding 10 rounds. And for compliance, I know some people might ask because I, I, everything's FDE, you know, how did I do that? Well, the compliance device is actually a 33.3 Cal Catch. It's the Cal Catch from 33.3 Tactical. And uh, I have notched the rear of my bad lever here to sit over that and still allow that to function. So it is fixed magazine. Uh, and then I'm just running an LWRC extended takedown pin here. So in order to take the magazine out, you gotta pull the pin open, push the magazine release, close the receivers, and then insert new mag and rack the next round in. Working really well for me. It's kind of what I'm going to now is that 33.3 Cal Catch and this extended takedown pin. But that is the 50 Shades of FDE build. If you like this video, please click like down below and subscribe to this channel for more gear reviews, training, and gun news. Check us out on Facebook at Tactic California, Instagram at Tactic California underscore, and our website, tacticalifornia.net. Also, please get a Tacti California t-shirt. You won't be disappointed. It's awesome. Supporting two companies there, uh, myself and another California-based t-shirt company. Uh, again, those are at eqfreedom.com. And if you feel like you want to support the channel even more than that, head on over to patreon.com slash California, where if you pledge at least a dollar or more, you are automatically entered into monthly giveaways. Plus, you get an exclusive content and all kinds of other stuff. This month's giveaway is for another Bravo Concealment $50 gift card. So that's pretty much going to get you a holster over there. That's that's an amazing deal. Also, we are a brand ambassador with OpticsPlanet.com, so use the discount code TCA5 for 5% off your entire order over at OpticsPlanet.com. I'm Micah with Tactic California. Thanks for watching. <laughs>